Wow. What a difference a few days makes here. A uh, little bit of water sitting there, but not much at all. Everything's firmed up really quick. Um, probably a lot going on today. Don't know which direction we'll go. He's got the new to him sprayer hooked up. <clears throat> we want to run some water through it, check for leaks, check that it'll function because we'll likely, uh, you know, usually run through planting season and get right to spraying season. So we want to know if we need to order anything and that this will function correctly. So we have that peace of mind. So might run through some water through that, make sure the booms function, fold in and out. Uh, this thing needs an oil change, <clears throat> engine oil. Um, they're coming out to charge the air conditioning system. We got the new um, motor pump right up in here, right there. Got that in the RNA. Um, then I'd like to get that mulch finisher folded out, and we're gonna have that guy put those gussets on the other side and beef it up. And we got a couple shanks that need some attention, uh, just to keep. Uh, they ripped through one of the bolt holes. Shouldn't be too bad, but a uh, couple, couple of those front, I call them ripper shanks on the towards the front of it, need a little attention. Uh, get that thing greased up, looked over, tires checked, because uh, things are coming fast here. Um, this thing, I think aside from the um, smart firmers, see our straps are up there. Uh, aside from the smart firmers, this thing should be ready for a field trial. Uh, it's all completely plumbed in the back here. And then uh, we might get the seed drill out today as well, hook that on the 8430 because if crunch time comes, um, we will be, we will be uh, trying to, if we can work enough ground, uh, planting two crops at once and doing two products that will slow our efficiency down. I shouldn't say efficiency, it will slow us down. It will still be efficient because we won't have the other tractor pulling the spreader. Generally the 8440 pull the drive spreader of urea. We won't do that because now we're putting that nitrogen right where the seed needs it. And uh, yes, it might slow us down a little bit, but I think it'll pay off in the long run and um, it really won't be that bad. So up here, I cut these chunk, or he cuts these chunks of rubber, so, and then I zip tied them to the back of it, just so those metal ratchets wouldn't gouge into the plastic. Thought that was a good idea. And uh, yeah, so then we might be getting some the, some corn seed in here. We got the so, uh, all the soybean totes, or most of the soybean totes that we'll need. Maybe a little more towards the end of the season. We'll just have to see, and um, got some corn seed coming this morning, I understand. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna play musical tractors here, and then we're gonna see which direction we go this morning here. It's about 40 degrees. Sometimes be a little stubborn, but oh, it was plugged in, but sometimes it needs a little snorty ether, but voila. Corn seeds here. Got this thing backed out of the way. Uh, there is some liquid. Maybe you can see it sloshing. Right there at the bottom, right above the, where the gauges is there. Just to test to see, do some water to test to see if it's leaking. And I think it passed the test, but I wasn't here for that yesterday. I didn't see any water in the concrete, so I'd say it was a job well done. Well, going nice and easy. These corn uh, totes weigh a lot more. I didn't look at the sheet on them, but generally those are around, these are around uh, 3,000 pounds, where the soybean ones are maybe around 2100, or yeah, 21, 22, 2300 pounds. 
just gonna push it up in here. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Right about there. And uh, the other tricky part is that I got the sprayer hooked on still. And we want to test that, so that's why I have a, it's also kind of tricky. Yeah, it's going pretty smooth on the other ones, and now I look like a bozo to you guys, but. We're getting them unloaded. There should be about 18 totes of seed in here between the soybeans and the corn when we're done here. Well, I just saw that there is a sticker on this one and it says uh, 40 units. I think they crammed some of, some of the corn ones are crammed with like 50 units. And those would be like the really heavy 3,000 some pound ones. But uh, uh, this one, 40 units, it shouldn't, I don't know, I'll look at the weight here. Actually, you know what? I don't like the way it sticks out there. I'm kind of stacking them, so obviously we'll need two totes right off the bat to fill the corn planter. But uh, we still can get at a couple bean totes here over here. I'll just set this one right here. I wonder, I'll look at how much they weigh here. This is golden harvest corn. Uh, let's see the lined up here. And I think a lot of it is like 100, 100 day or 101 day. I think it's 101 day. I'll look at it here later. Perfect. 18 totes of seed. That's all our work that we got ahead of us. A little water here to test it out. Put just enough in there so we can get over the stir later. Absolutely. Agitator works just fine. Got a little borax soap in there to kind of clean things up. The Demco Conquest. Not too bad, 90 foot booms. Just gonna try and make sure all the nozzles work here. Just fixing a couple of the, the tips here, nozzles. These aren't the nozzles we'll use. They're special dicamba ones for the beans, but uh, we got one leaking over there. These fold up a little different. They swing back instead of up and over. Now they do. They kind of come forward all in one motion. It's a new joystick to control it, so it's kind of funky to operate but we'll get a hang of it. That one's in. We fixed that stop right here. There's a, that yellow stop had a bolt missing. Nice. And then just set them down. Hmm, slick. Solid. Well, it's about three in the afternoon. We're gonna go late at 3.30. Just awaken the beast. Um, unhook the sprayer. We're gonna hook the rock picker up. Dump the oil on this, get this thing changed, and then uh, we're coming to charge up the AC today to see if we want to get that done so that they can work on that when they get here. Uh, also, going to dump the oil on the 8120 here. The filter and the paper filter inside the housing, and uh, we're just going to do it. It didn't get run that hard last fall, but just to get it on our records, and it's a cheap piece of mind for oil changes to see the traffic work. Dump uh, oil on both these rigs here. It's gonna warm up. It's probably 55 degrees, 60 degrees now, but this makes the oil come up so much nicer if we warm them up. Yeah, that's a little bit of oil. Just about uh, probably eight, nine gallons. Unloading a four bottom, 16 inch bottom plow for the neighbor who needs help getting out of this trailer. Nice. Well, it is just about seven o'clock at night. Um, pretty good day in between uh, testing that sprayer, tweaking a few things on the sprayer, um, getting it unhooked, unloading the neighbor's plow. 
um, changing oil on the 89 and the 81, uh, charging up the air conditioner on the 89 and one of the semis and something else maybe. Um, and what else? We did something else, just kind of messing around. Oh, and we unloaded corn seed this morning. So, um, that's it for today. Uh, it's 7 o'clock at night. It's a pretty good day. And uh, I'm going to go at it first thing tomorrow. <clears throat> Guy's coming out welding on the, one of the trailers, one of the grain trailers before hauling season starts. A couple, couple things to make things safe. For, otherwise, it's quite, you know, those trucks are a liability on the road and you just don't want to see anything happen to your truck or anybody else on the road. So it's a, it's a responsibility to, another one of those things to keep up, you know, so get the trucks up in shape before haul season. And then uh, we're going to hook on the mulch finisher in the morning, bring that over to the shop. Got a couple shanks to get fixed up, welded on. They don't make the shanks anymore, that style. So we have to fix them and uh gonna get hooked the rock picker up and uh, if that welding guy's got time we're gonna have him beef up those wings on the mulch finisher either today or sometime this week so uh it's coming fast i think that's pushing it but uh, it's possible in about a week it is possible but i do think that might be premature but the sun is acting like an august summer they said so it very well could come very fast so we have a lot of work to do and uh you know spring's coming and uh, we're gonna be going at it here pretty quick, but uh, I got a few days off, plenty of days off to get uh, him uh, in shape to be running, but then I go back to work for eight days in a row, or eight or not, eight of the nine days in a row here coming up starting on Monday, so right about when we need to get be uh, in the field, which is typical, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I'll get days off eventually, so. Um, all right, so yeah, I'll just keep showing videos, getting everything ready, and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, have a good night. Check you later.